1950s, Singapore had many problems. Large numbers of people were unemployed and uneducated. Singapore was also under British rule, but facing communist unrest. In 1956, Chief Minister David Marshall led a delegation to London to discuss self-rule. The British refused, and Marshall resigned. The next Chief Minister, Lim Yu Hock, led an all-party delegation to London. This time, he was successful. The British still controlled security and external affairs, but Singapore was granted self-rule. The first general election was held on the 30th of May, 1959. Thirteen parties contested the elections, and these included the Singapore People's Alliance, the People's Action Party, the Liberal Socialist Party, and the Citizens Party. The Opposition People's Action Party, or PAP, emerged as the winner, winning 43 out of the 51 seats contested. The PAP seized an opportunity. When the governor, Sir William Good, asked PAP leader Lee Kuan Yew to form a new government, he agreed. But only if eight PAP men who had been detained under the Public Security Ordinance were released. The governor agreed. The eight men, including Devon Nair, future president of Singapore, walked free. The first cabinet was sworn in on the 5th of June. Though Singapore now had self-rule, there was no national identity. So a song, Majula Singapura, written a year earlier, was chosen as the national anthem. Nineteen fifty-six, nineteen fifty-seven, there was already the spirit of nationalism, the spirit to be a free people and an independent independent nation. I could feel it emerging. By November 1959, Singaporeans had a flag and a national anthem to call their own. <laughs> 